Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Finally arrived in the Ice Cavern. It's a main dungeon, it's not too long, although it's uh, a funny little temple slash dungeon. And we're here because uh, multiple things. Let's see if we can kill all of these fuckers before they freeze us. There we go. Ow. And yeah, there is some uh, red eyes in here. But uh, what did I say earlier? How to get rid of red eyes? Do you remember? I bet you do. So let's get these things, because, uh, yeah, this is a new puzzle, uh, we have to collect five of these silver coins in order to uh, activate something, usually it's uh, either to enable a chest or to open a door somewhere, in this case it's to open the door right here. So we already got four coins, or uh, coins, rupees I mean, and that's the final one, uh, final one. So, let's move on to the next room. Fucking eyes, I hate it. And we've arrived in a bigger room, full of ice keys, which are fucking annoying. So let's get rid of them. And also this asshole over here. And look what we have over there, it's blue fire. Hmm, interesting. Shut up, Navi. I'm doing the narration here. I can explain for my own what this is and what I have to do with it, yeah? Fucking Navi. Shut the fuck up, man. So, since I have four empty pots, finally juice them all and collect four pieces of blue fire. It's always nice to have uh, lots of blue fire with you, especially in this temple over here, or a dungeon. I don't, I don't call this a temple. It's more like a dungeon or a cavern because it is officially called the Ice Cavern. Right. So I saw another ice keys. I really need to fucking get rid of him because I know these assholes are going to be annoying sooner or later. Come on. Oh, you bitch. I got you on my target now, son of a bitch. So you're gonna be dead. So, with this blue fire, we can melt red eyes. Which I uh, told you earlier. And there are multiple places where there's red eyes in this cavern. So, it's good to have lots of blue fire with you. And it gives me a map, so although this is a very small place, and I'll show you, it's just one floor and that's it. Nothing much to do over here. But yeah, although it's a small place, it's still a place with both a map and a compass, so what the fuck. Right, let's see if we can kill this guy over here. If it actually does anything, uh, it doesn't seem like it. And Jesus Christ, this thing is annoying. Oh well. Let's, uh, before I'm going away here, let's collect another sample of blue fire. And let's get out of this place, because uh, this is a dead end. Yeah, 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 it is. Alright. 
So we're gonna go back to the main place with the uh, spinning blades. Kill yourself. And there's supposed to be a place with. What the fuck was that? Wait, is it over here? Um. Hold on, is this the place that I can melt with the blue fire? I think so. Yeah, yeah it's alright. That's good to know, because this is going that way. Oh, I think I have to go the other way first then. Over here. Because this is a dead end, so I'm sure that there is stuff over here that I need to collect. Very important stuff, rather. Yes, uh, there are two golden scotchlas, or three even, and one heartpiece in this cavern. I only got one golden scotchlas, so there are two left, and also a heartpiece. And the heartpiece is right here, as well as the golden scotchla. And a new blue fire, which is awesome. So, collect the blue fire. And I hear you, golden scotchla. You'll be mine soon enough. First, let me get this heart piece over here. Sorry. Uh, oh, sweet, it gives me an art, another heart container as well. And there is also more blue fire. Ah, uh, for me, red eyes over here. And this chest, I assume it will contain the uh, the compass, so we know exactly where we are and where there are more chests. So in case you're wondering, because I actually never told you guys, the reason why we're here in the first place is because there are two things we can get over here. First of all, this is the only place we can get blue fire, which we can uh, use to uh, unfreeze King Zora. And as a reward, he will give us the blue tunic, which allows us to uh, to dive underwater and remain underwater for uh, for infinite amount of times. There's also an item we can get in this uh, cave over here that allows us to sink all the way to the bottom of the ocean, which is also nice. So, this is a new puzzle over here, but uh, we're not going here just yet. Or, well, we are, but wait, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I just had to. Uh, I had a crazy idea, don't don't mind me. I just had to uh, unfreeze this blue, uh, I mean this red eyes over here. Camera, stop being annoying, what the fuck man. Alright, so now we got that one. We can push this block into the far away place. I mean, uh, in the infinite... Uh, Wow, I, I'm, I'm having trouble coming up with my words. I don't know why. Fuck you. And... Uh, let's get rid of this fucker as well. There we go. And as also see there's a golden skull over here. Which I completely forgot about. There we go! And that's also, I think, the last golden sculpture in this cave, right? Do we have 70 now? Yes, I do. 
cool. All right, so next puzzle. Move this uh, block over here. Wait, actually, I did it wrong already. Fuck. Let's see if I can still do it the way that I do it now. Let's see if I move this block over here. Get on here to grab that and hopefully don't die. I mean, don't make myself jump into the uh, infinite pit because that makes us uh, having to collect all the other uh, all the other uh, thing coins coins hold on <clears throat> wow <laughs> English is really difficult language today what I was uh, trying to say is if I jump into one of these infinite pits over here do we have to reset this room and we have to collect all these silver rupees again, which is uh, not what we want, so... Yeah. This is the last one we get over here. So let's get it. There we go. Place unlocks, which is awesome. So now all we have to do is move this block over to that place. Oh, don't climb on it, just grab it. There we go. Now move it towards over here. And then over here. And finally, it will go straight over there. There we go. And now I can climb on it. I don't fall for your little tricks. And we have arrived at the final room already. I don't wanna, does this give me any fairies? Nah. Whatever, we don't need fairies. Haha, <laughs> little wolf. That's all, two hits and you're dead. Ha! <laughs> Pussy. So, here we are. The item we came for. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my god, what is it? Iron boots! Yeah, with iron boots, if we put them on, we can uh, sink to the bottom. And what the fuck, there is Sheik. What are you doing here, Sheik? So, she is so nice of us to teach the song to teleport straight towards the water temple.
and with that song we can now teleport towards Lake Helia. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, Link tried to catch her, but he was too late. So uh Anyway Now I'll show you what the iron boots can do. And this is the most annoying thing in existence. Because every time you have to switch boots, you need to go to the fucking pause menu, turn on the boots, and then pause again, and it's just fucking annoying. So glad that they actually fixed this in the uh, 3DS version of this game because in there they uh, they just added the uh, boots as uh, C items so you can just instantly put them on and off which is a lot better than uh, having to go to the pause menu all the time oh well now that we have the uh, iron boots we can go to the water temple and now that we have blue fire with this as well, which is the whole reason why I caught so much of it, is now we can earn freeze Zora, King Zora as well. And as a reward, he will give us the Zora tunic, which allows us to breathe underwater for an infinite amount of time. Which is really useful, especially if we're about to do the uh, water temple now, is it? Sweet! So let's put it on straight away, because we're gonna need it. Oh yeah, now we look like a blue link. <laughs> now that we have the stunic, let's go back to the fountain, because there is a little thing over there that we can collect. We don't want to choke on the water, so hey. Guess there the thing that we can get over here. It's at the very bottom of this uh, area over here. So let's swim. And then let's put on the iron boots. And swim all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Or, uh, ocean. It's more of a lake, really. There it is, our precious little heart piece. There we go, now. We're pretty much done over here. The only thing left to do over here is, uh, well, go back to the surface and then leave this area. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode just as much as uh, this entire series so far. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out!